Let me ask you, how important do you think it is to take care of your people when you have a small staff of about 14 people? Well, you might say, well, it's no more important than if you have a staff of 14,000 people. Well, that's true, except there are some nuances to that. Let me give you an example. Paul came to see me. His company does about 160 million a year. That's significant, particularly seeing as he does it with a team of about 14 people. That's pretty outstanding. That means that every single person who works for him is very, very valuable to that business. He came to see me because he felt like there was some problem in the culture and he wasn't sure what it was and he thought it might be him, but he didn't know, but he was courageous enough to want to find out. We went in and we talked to the organization, we talked to everybody in the organization, and the truth was everybody just loved Paul. They thought he was a really great guy. And then one day I was sitting there, sitting down with Allison. Allison is a senior member of the team, and she was telling me about how much she liked Paul, and she, you know, everything was very complimentary. And then she let something slip. She was telling me about an idea she had about growing the business. And she said that she had shared this with Paul, and what he had said was, Oh, okay. And then the next day at the meeting, he had taken that idea. And she said, let's face it, any new idea is going to be Paul's tomorrow. And I thought it was kind of fascinating. Wanted to know more about that. What she explained to me was that every time somebody came up with a new great idea, Paul, without maybe even realizing it, found a way to steal that idea. Welcome to another episode of New Leadership Skills. In this episode, I want to talk to you about being a light bearer, that if you're going to lead into the future, it's vitally important that you become a light bearer rather than a light stealer. And what I mean by that is, in the example I just gave you, when the light was on Allison or somebody else who had a great idea, Paul would find a way to steal that light and put it back on him, make the idea his own. If you're gonna lead into tomorrow, you've gotta find a way to actually give away the light rather than stealing the light. You've actually gotta find a way to put the light on other people and let them know how valuable they are. What that means is even if it is your idea, find a way to include others. When I sat down with Paul and really explained to him what it meant that he was actually stealing the light from his team, he was shocked. He had no idea. It was certainly not his intention to do that. He would never want to do that. Like everybody had said on the team, he was a good guy. But his own insecurities that he was not aware of were bubbling to the surface. And so it was just slipping out from his unconscious mind that he would end up stealing the light from his team. Within two weeks, everything transformed, he became the light giver. The unity and the loyalty inside of the team grew enormously. We had a meeting with the entire team and they talked about the changes they'd seen in, in Paul and how dramatic it was. But here's what was fascinating. Everybody's production had gone up as a result of it. If you're gonna lead into the future, remember, you need to be a light bearer. Give the light away and pay attention to whether you might be stealing the light. My name is Dove Barron, I'm the founder of FullMontyLeadership.com and I would like for you to stay curious, my friend, stay curious about how you might be stealing the light and what you can do to put the light on others so you can grow your business, you can grow your culture, and you can grow your leadership. Dove Barron, FullMontyLeadership.com, I'm out.